Now let's talk more about OOPS concept. Now OOPS basically stands for Object Oriented Programming. Now in Object Oriented Programming, we have talked about object class encapsulation, right? Now let's talk more concepts. Now one of the most important thing in the concept of OOPS is called inheritance. Now what is inheritance? Now there are two words actually here which, which will confuse people is, is and has. Now what these two words are? Now, if we talk about a computer, now of course, con computer itself is an abstract concept, right? Now, a computer can be a laptop, a computer can be a desktop, a computer can be a mobile phone. That's right. So even if you talk about this phone, this is a computer in the form of mo mobile phone, of course. And the computer itself is an abstract concept. No one owns a computer. You basically buy a hardware, which can be a desktop, laptop, or a phone. Now, can I say that if you talk about a desktop, so I'm talking about a desktop which is this big and it will have certain parts, right? A desktop will have a motherboard, a desktop will have a hard drive, CPU, RAM. So when you talk about this thing, it is desktop has a motherboard, desktop has a hard drive, it has a CPU, right? So the important keyword there is has. If we talk about a house, a house will have a TV, a house will have a sofa, AC, bed. So all those things what a house has, right? So has is an important word. But at this point, let's not focus on has. In this video, let's talk about is. Now what is, 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 okay. So example, if we talk about a laptop, so can we say a laptop is a computer? So what it means is laptop got its features from a computer. So can we take another example here? If we talk about a car, let's say. Let's say if we talk about a Fortuner, which is very famous in India. So this car is actually a car, right? So Fortuner is a car. So that's how you represent something. You represent a device or a physical entity by referring to its upper model. Or you, take, right, you try to take the features of it. Now, coming back to the inheritance concept in real world. Example, let's say, uh, if you talk about the human world, you know, when I was in my 10th standard, so just for the example, okay, nothing, not that important, but when I was in my 10th standard, uh, I did my 10th in 2005. At that point, Nokia released a lot of smartphones, right? Of course, Nokia is not there anymore, but uh, Nokia was one of the most important factor in the smartphone industry. Now, when they came up with a smartphone, one of the most famous smartphone they, which they built is 6600. I'm not sure if you have seen that. I'm not even sure if that you're that old. Maybe you were not even born in that year. But yeah, so it was 6600, uh, amazing phone. If you can just search on Google, uh, Nokia 6600, you will see that phone. Now, a lot of my friends were having that phone. It was costly phone. At that point, it was around 10,000 rupees. And uh, I was not having any phone. So they used to ask me, hey, which phone you have? I used to say, hey, I don't have a phone. But then I realized, hey, till when I will say that? Uh, the thing is, next time when people used to ask me which phone I have, I used to say, I have 3310. Now, I was not having any phone. Now, this is my father's phone. And we know the concept, right? Father's phone is your phone. In fact, in, in general, what we say, our parents' property, it's your property. Whatever they own, it's yours. I don't believe in that, okay? I'm not a big fan of uh, inheritance or nepotism, but yeah, you get everything. Uh, so I, I used to say, I have that phone. Okay, so this is inheritance. Now, how will you use this concept in programming? Now, in Java, what you have is you have different classes, right? Example, if you, if you create a simple class here, uh, let me get a very simple class. Let's say we have a class here called a calculator. Now, what features a calculator will have? A calculator will have some variables here, and then it will have some methods. Let's say method is add, uh, method is sub, Okay, and then method is multi. So we have different methods here, or let's also have division. Why division should be the, uh, left there? So we have all these methods, right? And it is working. So you can basically create object of calculator and you can access all these methods, no harm in that. But what if you want to create a advanced calculator now? Uh, of course, let's say uh, if someone comes to you and say, hey, you know, you made an awesome calculator and now I want you to create a scientific calculator or advanced calculator, now you have a choice. You can edit the same class, but there's only one thing. What if you enhance the same class, you add some more methods here. Now you want to give calculator to someone, someone asking you for the calculator object. They basically access all the basic features and advanced features as well. So it's, it is good to create a separate class. Okay, so you can get a separate class and you can say advanced calculator, right? And then this will have all the advanced features. Of course, it will have all the basic features and it will have the advanced features as well. So we have basic features, advanced features, both. But don't you think you need to define these basic features again and again? Why? We already have those features here, right? We already have those features here. Can I just use those features in my new advanced calculator? 
So what I'm saying is, basically, this advanced calculator is going to inherit the properties and features from calculator. So I can also say advanced calculator is a calculator and it will get all the features of calculator. Okay, uh, it, it will make much more sense once we, once we start coding. But what we are doing here is we are doing inheritance. So basically inheritance is a very important feature using which you can just copy the feature from the upper class. So this is your, can, you, can I say this is a parent class? So this is a parent class and this is a child class because child class is accessing the features of parent class. Okay, so whatever I earn, it's my money plus my parents' money is my money. That's how the system works, right? We can also say this is a super class. We have different words for it, that's it. And we can say this is a subclass. We can also say this is a base class, not yeah, base, and this is a derived class. So it depends upon how you represent that. If you say this is a parent class, then you have to say it's a child class. If you say that's a super class, then it becomes a subclass. If you say this is a base class, you have to say this is a derived class. That's how it works. Okay. Now this is what inheritance is. Now we'll try to implement this in code in the next video.